announced that Jimmy Fallon will host the Emmys this year. Until then, he's busy doing a nightly talk show. News Channel 5's Heidi Glaus recently got a chance to talk to Fallon. Hey everybody, and thank you so much for watching. He is charming, witty, and well-dressed. Thank you. Finally, someone says the truth. I mean, really. Thank you. This is, uh, it's Tom Ford, I believe. And even has his mug plastered in the middle of Times Square. Everything's going good. We've been around for like a year and two months or something like that. And it's like, it's just going and it's just getting, it's just getting better and better and better and just trying different stuff and just growing and growing and just seeing how crazy we can get it at late night. It's super fun. It is a show where just about anything goes. Hey everybody, it's time once again to play competitive spit tank. And at times can be a bit off the wall. But one thing is for sure, Jimmy Fallon is constantly trying to put his best foot forward. I love writing jokes, I love doing bits, I love spoofing Dancing with the Stars, or spoofing uh, Real Housewives of Life, Dressed in Drag. I do anything to get a laugh. I really just want to make the best possible show out there. I don't care what time slot I'm on, I'm like, this you could air my show at 3 in the morning, it's still going to work it's just as hard as I'm doing it. Of course, that means he spends a lot of time at the office. You know, I don't really get to see my wife much. Uh, uh, I've seen pictures, and she looks <laughs> very so pretty. Oh yeah, very pretty. Part of that also involves time out of town. You might remember he filmed the ending of Fever Pitch here in St. Louis. Unfortunately, it was when the Red Sox won the World Series, but uh, uh, fortunate for me because we were filming a movie about I was playing a diehard Red Sox fan, and uh, it was insane. They basically had one take to get it right. So I just grabbed Drew Barrymore, who was my girlfriend in the movie, and we just ran, jumped over the wall, and just ran out. Like, and then we got too close. <laughs> I'm like, I saw the end because I don't want to be on the DVD of the Red Sox World Series DVD. I'm like, let's let's let's, let's celebrate more to second base. Keep moving towards second base. Go to center field. Yeah, this is amazing. He also has pretty darn amazing memories of our city. She so went to some great restaurants and some fun places. I went to some fun bars. I'm trying to remember now where I went. But everyone was so super duper nice. But what struck him the most was the Lewis and Clark statue on the riverfront. I've never seen a statue like that. There's a <laughs> statue that's a half sunken. They're in the water. Their heads are like barely out of the water. Like we're discovering you. It's, <laughs> it's phenomenal. I loved it. I thought that was the coolest statue I've ever seen. Well, that and the people. But of course, we already knew that. I was at this place. And outside, uh, a girl came stumbling by, drunk. It's a true story. And our server went out and asked her if she was okay and helped her and got her into a cab. I was like, that's so cool. Heidi Glass, News Channel 5.